side with it. Um, half a year later, there were Confederate troops here, and this man had been told as part of his orders, you know, get up to the top and look out for Yankees. He did his job. Unfortunately, the thing, he did it too well because he stayed there and his troops just finished. <laughs> <laughs> and so he was left hanging here, uh, there. So um, the church was hit approximately 20, 25 times and repairs took about five years uh, after the Civil War. So it did stay uh, okay at that particular point. Um, during the time, 50 years later, we began bringing in these stained glass windows. This was a... I wouldn't call it a fad, but it, well, it kind of was. Uh, we had diamond-shaped windows. And at the turn of the century, um, with Tiffany becoming the leading uh, figure in stained glass windows, we had uh, really between 1907 and 1917, most of these windows were put in. You might say, well, how did the church afford it? They didn't. It was people who put them in and gave them for relatives, great people that were in the church. Uh, we do have three Tiffany's. This is one angel in the fields, uh, and this is a good e example. Uh, Mr. Phillips' family uh, gave this uh, particular window. He was uh, the starter of the bank across the street, and actually I worked at that bank for 22 years. Oh, really? I was a banker before I came here. So. And how long have you been here at the church? Been seven years. Seven years? Um, and we just restored this window uh, in the last two months, and last Sunday, there was the 100th anniversary of this window. It was put in in July of uh, 1914, um, and it's held up very well. I mean, there's things on the inside we'd like to get, we just don't have the money to do it. Um, the road to Emmaus window is the other one. Uh, that was 100 years old two years ago in 2012, and we actually had two members of the family, two parts of the family here. Uh, in the process of getting the family together, I found a cousin they didn't even know about who was a lawyer in Seattle. I said, because we constructed a family tree uh, there. This is actually a double Tiffany. There's a part that's up there. Different, different scenes uh, whatsoever. This comes from the book, book of Luke, uh, the road to Emmaus, which occurred on Easter afternoon uh, with two groups of pilgrims coming out from uh, Jerusalem, and they would spot a man on the road, and uh, the man's not familiar, and they say, well, haven't you heard? You know, Jesus has been resurrected and all like that. And um, you know, They went on, and they said, won't you stay for us for dinner? And the roads were not as safe as they liked to be. So they stayed. He broke the bread, and they realized it was Christ. He had appeared, and poof, he was gone. So they decided, instead of going to Emmaus, they would go back to Jerusalem to the, the beginning Christian movement. That's what that depicts. The third Tiffany is over here which was put in in 1917. Uh, this was actually put in uh, by the family of one of our parishioners, uh, the Green family, who sat in Pew 84, which I believe it's this one that's got numbers on the other side. So families were assigned pews? Yeah, oh yeah, the pews here were rented uh, from 1849 until 1943. That's how they paid for the church. Wow. The rent, yeah, they, they literally people bought the, people bought the pews, there were rents that were paid on them, and um, the system worked well until about the turn of the century, and people were noticing, well, it's just not gaining enough revenue, and people were kind of questioning it, and it finally went out in World War II. You know, it was just not. You know. And even today in a lot of Episcopal churches, you can go in and you sit at somebody's pew, and they say, that's my pew. Well, it really isn't, but it's where they traditionally sit. That's something you see in a lot of Episcopal churches, but... Um, really from the, the stained glass windows, the last one was put in right over here in, 19, in the early 1940s, which is a totally different style. It's, it's closer to a medieval form with all the, you know, the, the small pieces of glass, um, almost a mosaic type effect, uh, which was kind of anti-Tiffany. Tiffany liked painted glass. Um, he liked his own experiments in glass. And, uh, he did create a look, which is um, evident in, in these. And we have two others that are a related school, and they kind of copied from him, and several of them worked for Tiffany. So that's kind of the thing that, that predominated the church. Um, one of the things that was done in my time here, starting in 2007, was renovate this facility. Um, 
there were numerous problems uh, by 2007. We had problems with electrical systems being out of date. Um, these capitals, these columns, were pretty nondescript. Um, there was a, a movement that we needed to a new organ, which was a big deal. It turned out to be a million bucks. Yeah, that is a big deal. Yes. Uh, 